This is your one and only FireSpark81 with your daily dose of video goodness and welcome back to another informational cyberpunk video. Today I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily get to V's secret mansion. Let's get to it. So there's already a bunch of videos showing you how to get to V's secret mansion, but they're all super convoluted and uh, they really don't need to be. It's actually really, really easy to get to it. So in order to do this, you are going to need the cyberware double jump legs, the reinforced tendons, but that's it. You don't need anything else. You don't have to do all the other crazy slow-mo speed skip, all this crazy stuff that they do and the other ones that I've saw, but I have yet to see a video like this. So that was my apartment there, which gonna walk out of V's apartment you're gonna double jump up here you're gonna double jump here and then you're gonna run and you're gonna double jump here okay once you're up here then you're going to you might want to drop a quick save here because this can get just a tiny bit iffy but not not too crazy uh, you're gonna jump up to there and then you're just gonna look up and double jump and then we're just gonna move out from the wall just a tiny little bit and we're gonna double jump and grab onto that then we're gonna move forward out from the wall just a tiny bit, look straight up, double jump there. And now we're just gonna move over just a tiny bit, double jump again, okay? And then once again, we're gonna double jump again. Okay, now we're up here to where we need to be. We didn't have to do anything crazy. So now what we need to do is we just need to walk around here. There's a spot over there where we can get outside the map bounds and uh, that's what we want. So right here is the spot. So what you want to do, just uh, come over to this, fall down right here, and then we're going to come over to here. Now there's like an invisible wall here, but if you back up just a little bit, you can just fall right to here. Once you're here, you're just going to look straight over to there and then double jump so you land right here. And then here's the leap of faith. So now what we want to do, I know it's bright and it's crazy, but there's a gap there. We need to run out and then double jump and then we just land right here. Okay, and then from here, we're just gonna run out here like this. And then right here, so the, the mansion's right over there. We can actually see it if we come over here. So there you go, you can see it. But uh, we can slide off. We're just gonna, we're gonna run and slide. So we're just gonna run and slide. And there you go. And that's it, that's, that's all there is to getting to the mansion. Now, for those of you who have not seen any of the other videos about this or seen this before, uh, we're gonna take a, a quick little tour of it in here. We're gonna go in here, um, but there's a little pad there thingy, and then um, we got one over here as well. Nope, oh, if I can get around here. There we go, we got one here. Security bot line. You can't set on the, the chair or anything like you can in your real apartment. None of this, you can't set on any of this or do anything with any of this either. Uh, but if we come upstairs, so we come around here, come upstairs here, there's another one of the little uh, things there, little shards. And we have a couch here. Once again, can't, can't actually set on that couch either. We can go in here. We got a full bathroom with uh, a workable mirror. So we can actually look in the mirror. So they, they did a lot to this. This is um, totally totally coded. We don't get all the other options like we do the other mirrors, but uh, and it took a little longer to activate, but it does work. If we come over here, we have the shower. We can't actually use this shower, it appears, like we can our... Well, there's like a glitch, something weird there. Uh, we can't actually use that shower like we can our other shower, but if you come over here, there's a secret set of clothes. So we have the gold-plated boots, we have uh, V's Golden Aviators, uh, V's Shirt, and V's Expensive Leggings. And then there's another one of the little uh, shards there, which uh, that just exploded. That was fun times. Can't use the bed. The bed doesn't do anything, unfortunately. We do have a really nice view here. But then if we come around here and come around like this there's a door here and we have another little uh we, well we have a knife there and then we have another one of those uh shards that we can take so we can grab that we have a computer here that has some messages on it so we can use this and you can see it's got the little gig 
our business, our business, welcome to heaven. I'm not going to read them. Um, you can, you can come up here and read them yourself if you're interested in what they are. Then there's just like a bunch of random guns here. Uh, I don't think any of them are anything spectacular. They're all kind of lowish level. I thought I saw like a 900 in there. Yeah, 975 for that one. And then we have Johnny's, the replica of Johnny's samurai jacket here as well, which you can take and put on if you want. The interesting thing about this is like you get his jacket later on, but you can get it now early, super early. Like you can literally go meet Jackie. And as soon as you go to, you do the whole thing where you go to the Ripper dock, right after you go to your first Ripper dock, all you have to do is a money exploit and then go back and buy the double jump legs. That's it. And then you can you can literally do this before you complete any other part of the story. We have another one of the, well, there's a gun there and then there's another shard there as well. But if we come outside here, we can, uh, we got not only a really nice view, but we can also use the pool. The water physics actually work for the pool. So we can jump in it, swim around, which I thought was kind of cool. It's not a fake pool. It actually does the thing. It actually pulls. Um, but yeah, it's really cool. Really nice view. Really neat up here. Another thing that's interesting, it's a little sketchy, but it is doable. You can actually jump up the side of this. So if we uh, double jump, we can cling. Oh, well, let's try that again. We can cling to the side here and then we can, well, maybe it's going to make a liar of me now. I've done it before. All right, there we go. So we're almost there and you don't want to, you do not want to bounce away like we did there. Let's try again. It takes a little bit of effort, but it is doable. There we go. So then you can get up here to the top. There's really nothing to see up here. I mean, some low poly stuff. It's interesting that they put enough detail in to like, there's a rock through the ceiling, but um, like this, this is here and you don't even see it. It's completely covered. It's like it's left over. Like there was another building here and then they put a building around it or something. I don't even know, but like you don't see it. You can't, I mean, especially from down below, you're, you're never going to see that, but yet they took the time to put it there. But uh, something else that I found that is uh, rather strange is if we come around here to the other side, so we're going to the back side of V's mansion right now, come around to this side. Where is it? Oh, right here it is. So if we come around to this side here, and then you got to be careful on this jump here. So we're going to jump down here and if you double jump you reset your fall damage so we took a little bit of damage but we're fine we'll just regen through that there now we're over here on this other side but look they left like a it's like they want you to run and jump across here there's a thing all the way around to stop you from running and jumping but right here and right here i don't know if they if they put it there purposefully i haven't found anything it could just be not complete but the amount of time they took to complete other stuff, I find it strange that this here isn't complete. But you can run and jump over here. And uh, that's pretty much it. I haven't tried to jump down there yet. But it looks like you may be able to climb on that. Maybe. Probably not. But then over here, there's really nothing over here. We can come over this way. And then it just kind of ends. We're not going anywhere from here. And you can jump down onto the red thing here, or the red rooftop here as well. And then that gray rooftop over there is super janky. If you jump on it, like half of your feet are inside of it. But then I was wondering if maybe I could get down there, but I can't figure out a way to get down there without dying. And maybe over to there, and there might be something, because it looks like there's some rooftop stuff going on over there. And maybe, maybe we can get in there? I don't know. I'm going to have to try. It's going to take some experimenting, but uh, yeah, it's pretty neat. So you can get back over from here or we should be able to. So just run and jump and yeah, there we go. And then we can just come back over this way here. It gets a little janky to get back around because you got to, you might fall. So if you do this and you want to get back to V's apartment, make sure you drop down a quick save because right here it's a little iffy. So you're just going to kind of double jump and then 
cling to the side and there you go and then you're back around okay uh that's pretty much it for this one it's a super short video i just wanted to show that i found an alternate easy way to get up to well it's just easier way to get up to whatever you want to call it uh, if you found the video helpful if you enjoyed it and you're still here consider hitting the subscribe button i put out all kinds of different guides not just cyberpunk stuff cover all kinds of different games and you never know when i'm going to be covering a game that you may be playing all right that is going to wrap it up for this episode if you like what you saw consider hitting that sub button i want to give a big thank you to my patrons for making this episode possible y'all are absolutely amazing people if you would like to join my league crew patreon supporters please check out the link in the description below if you enjoyed this video please leave a comment down below let me know what you thought if you're shy you don't like to comment just hit that thumbs up button and share your support until next time thanks for watching